Hello everybody and welcome back to the new save file once again. We are jumping in for another run. Who did we play as last time? I don't remember. I mean, we did Kane as Greed Mode, but we didn't do Kane on a normal run, so we might want to do Kane. But we did also just unlock Bethany. So yeah, let's do a Bethany run. We do have a three win streak going. I would love to get that up to a 10, but knowing me and my idiotic ways, honestly, I am so, so happy to get an active item right off the bat. Regardless of it being an active item that I don't particularly consider good, um, getting an active item as Bethany as your first item is kind of the dream. Um, and I don't exactly know how good of an active item uh, Bottle of Pills is. In fact, shall we research it? I feel like it would be a good idea. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Um, doo -doo 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 uh, let's go. Um, Book of Virtues. Isaac. I bet people that are actually religious fucking hate the binding of Isaac. <laughs> Every time they go to Google any fucking uh, religious term, it's like, here's this naked baby that shoots tears out of his eyes to kill poop. <laughs> it's like, it's not what I'm looking for. I meant the actual book of virtues. Fuck. <laughs> I don't know why, but that that is hilarious to me. Um, Mum's bottle... Mum's bottle of pills. Spawn a whip wisp in the inner ring looking like pills. The wisps spawn pills when destroyed. The wisps uh, come in random colours. Each colour may fire tears that confuse, poison, petrify, burn, or spawn troll bombs. Ooh, lovely. Each tier is assigned to one colour. Um, the un only colour pill wisp without a tear effect um, also spawns a hostile spider. Okay, so there's there's some really good stuff in there. Honestly, this seems like a very good item for us, but there's also some not so good stuff in there. Um, oh god. So so far we've got the ability to petrify. Honestly, this room problematic. But yeah, we're gonna be getting a lot of extra pills. Hopefully, we get some PhD in this business because that would be incredible. Um, but we're gonna be taking every pill that we get. We got another blue one. I don't know if we were just locked into having blue or if it's like pear floor. Or if it's random, or... Yeah, I, I, have, I have no idea what decides what colour we get. Uh, kill him before he shoots again. Honestly, the extra damage and petrifying that we're going to get from this is is pretty stonking. That is a stonking good uh, good chest there. Um, as for the, um, the question of the day today, what's something that you quote very often? Because I've just watched... Um, I, I don't know if anyone else out here watches it, but uh, the Office podcast called The Office Ladies basically... Um, Jenna Fisher and Angela Kinsey do a podcast where they talk about The Office. And it's very, very entertaining. Um, what's this? T t what? How do you pronounce that? T t teeth? Teeth? Plus one. That's by the way, I love the fact that I can pause the timer and read things with this, uh, this menu. It's so good. Um, plus one eternal heart. Very, very good. When entering a new floor, Isaac will subsequently forfeit his coins, keys, and bombs. 3% chance of giving an angel deal every time a pickup is teethed. Isaac will stop teething if teleported does not affect... Ooh, that sounds really good, potentially. It sounds like we're going to lose a lot of shit, but it sounds like it could be really good, so I'm going to go for it. Ooh, actually, do you know what? We have the ability to kill these enemies without releasing them, at least the majority, so let's just do that. It's going to be way easier. It's going to take us a little bit longer, but gonna take a little bit longer but there you go but yeah i've just been watching that podcast and um they had a uh, billy eilish on um because she's a big fan of the office uh converts red poops to regular poops why not um yeah uh, i had billy eilish on um and they were just kind of talking about her enjoying the office and stuff and i was just thought and she was talking about like how often she references it and stuff like that and i was just kind of thinking like i wonder oh no, no, no. oh i really could have taken advantage of that uh we don't really need soul hearts though so there isn't too much point to be honest um, yeah, and I, I was just kind of thinking about it and thinking about what I reference the most. Because I do reference The Office quite a lot, but I think for me, it's it, it changes really. Me and my girlfriend re reference stuff often to each other and to our friends, mainly to each other. Uh, but it's usually based on sort of what we've been watching recently. Um, so we kind of go back and forth. Peep Show is obviously a big one. Anyone that's watched me for a long time knows my deep, deep love for, uh, for Peep Show. And anyone that hasn't seen it, really needs to although it's incredibly british humor so if you're not into british humor or if you don't understand british humor it might not be the best for you but still um honestly health is looking fan dabby dozy right now really really good um 
But yeah, it changes between a bunch of different stuff as well. Another one that we reference all the time is uh, people just do nothing. Um, okay, we just lost everything that time. Um, the, the, the big problem is going to be losing keys. Basically, what we need to do is we need to get a, a really, really high amount of, um, of consumables in order to make sure we keep at least a few on the next floor. Anarchist Cookbook will at least um, use it once because then we get a wisp for it. But I don't actually care. Um, but yeah, um, we are unfortunately going to um, probably lose out on an item room or two. We don't have any planetariums to fall back on here, so I really not want to lose my angel deal here. So let's try and not. Uh, the stars. Oh, that saves us a key. Thank you. And we get the poop. Lovely. Um... So, I was saying about it being really good getting active items, but it's, it's getting a little tedious now. Three active items so far, yes. Yeah, not not exactly what I was hoping for here, but... Oh, I was just about to say we need to kill these enemies real fast. These en Those enemies are, like, way, way, way harder than they would be otherwise. Oh, God. We'll, we'll lose it. We'll lose some health here. Oh, maybe not, maybe not. I just about managed to kill all those spiders, and having the wisps really helps, to be honest. I gotta be careful because we do have a bomb wisp that can fire explosive tears. That could could cause us an issue here or there. But yeah, what we really need is humbling bundle or something that allows us to just get an insane amount of consumables. Then uh, we've got so many to lose each floor. Hey, a free hook, thank you. Let me get some cell hearts as well. Absolutely love the cell hearts. Such a good addition to the game. But yeah, it, it really changes quite often what um, what sort of stuff I reference. Um, like I said, I, I watch so many different TV shows. Um, I, I basically have like seven or eight different TV shows, uh, like comedies, that I just watch on a loop. Um, at the minute, actually. It's not really something that we reference, but something that me and my girlfriend have been watching a ton recently. Um, which, honestly, high, high recommend it. Oh, I'm so dumb. This is so obviously the secret room. Something that I highly recommend anyone British especially to watch. It's just so enjoyable right now. I have been absolutely loving Come Dine With Me. God damn is that an enjoyable TV show. Um, for anyone that doesn't know what Come Dine With Me is, basically it's just a show where they get a bunch of random people to like have a dinner party together. And each one of them cooks. There's normally five people, so they do five meals over the course of five episodes, there's an episode per person, and they've got to cook three courses, and they rate them based on their courses, and they normally do a bit of entertainment and stuff, and honestly, it's just fantastic. It's just so good. Like, they clearly, obviously, like, vet the people that they're going to place with one another, and they always make sure, um... Thank you. Uh, they always make sure to, like, place in people that are going to conflict with each other. Also, amazing trinket there. So hope we can gulp these. Um, poop explodes, eh, no, thank you. What, what we got here? We got Lent picking up, um, no hearts on a floor will grant you full health and damage up at the beginning of the next floor. Balloon familiar, which slowly changes colour over time. When Isaac takes damage, the balloon pops, dropping its corresponding heart. Balloon regenerates in the next few rooms. This is honestly something that I'm not a huge fan of, um, generally. I, 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 the balloon's okay, but the fact that you have to take damage to trigger it, Leads it to not be so good sometimes. But, um... <laughs> I swear to God, um, Caboose, your ass is haunted. What is this room name? Um, but it seemed better than Len. I, I feel like I'm going to be picking up hearts every now and again. Hey, we unlocked Eve and Samson. Awesome. Very successful run so far. We lost our key there. I have a feeling that our teeth or whatever it's called, is actually going to be pretty, pretty negative for us over the course of the whole run. We're probably going to lose quite a lot to it and not gain so much, but eh, it seems like a really interesting item. And the fact that it gave us an Eternal Heart is pretty good. It gives you an upfront benefit regardless. I really do like that. Oh, we finally lost some of our pills here. Um, we got a Tainted Treasure. Bad trip. Unfortunate, but we did get a Heart straight back. That's fine. And then we get a Speed Up. We'll do a Tainted Treasure. Uh, we got a lot of interesting stuff there. I'm not 100% sure what all of it does. Oh, really? Okay, I've accidentally picked this guy up. This dude having the um, the thingy champion effects on him, that was really bad. That was really bad. I'm going to take out this guy first. Oh, what the hell? we got some fire and flames going on. Intriguing. 
Wow, okay, that's pretty good. I don't know what uh, turn of treasure item that is, but it seems decent. Also, this swordfish, pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. We got some batteries in here, but unfortunately, both small ones. <sighs> we are going to be so light on keys this run, it's going to be incredible. Oh, bollocks. Speed up. What makes you larger? Pins and needles. That one was just a troll bomb there. Thank you. Paralysis. I don't know why I decided to use that then. It's not like I have false PhD, but there you go. I guess I'm doing... I think I have fear shot right now. No, I just have the one that, that, that lobs out troll bombs every now and again. It lobs out a lot of troll bombs, which is... Maybe a good thing? I don't know. We'll figure if it if it works in rooms without combat. Could be pretty interesting. Let's do it here. Maybe it only works when I hit enemies. We shall see. This seems risky, but interesting. Yeah, risky but interesting. Okay, can you give us a key now, game? I'd like a key, please. What we need now is fuse cutters, but I but don't even think we have those unlocked yet. I think fuse cutters is something we do have to unlock later down the line. That was close. I didn't realize these guys charged twice, but... There you go. These guys are strong as shit. What the hell? These guys have a lot of HP. A, we gulped it too. Dude, these, these enemies are so fucking tanky. Die. Even the little dudes are, like, tanky as shit. I suppose it is because my tier size is, like, a lot bigger than my damage value is because I got the snake oil. So that is definitely affecting it. Hey, there's a key. It's definitely affecting it. Still, like, come on now. Why did I go for this door? I, I, I genuinely don't know why I went for that door. Science can never answer that question. Hey, we get Companion Cube. Companion Cube isn't bad at all. It's gonna jam itself into enemies. Do some do some business to them. Give them the business. Oh, we can we can generate uh, troll bombs wherever we want. Potentially really good then. Uh, I think it's definitely gonna get me hurt at some point. I mean, technically all I've got to do is um, is get rid of the wisp to to stop it happening. Power pill. Unfortunately, no good pills so far, but no overtly bad ones either, so... I mean, we had two speed-ups, actually. Two speed-ups is pretty good. But I'm not really looking for speed right now. I'm looking for tears. You know I am, game. You know what I want. There's an eternal heart. I'm going to pick that up after the boss fight, I think. What are you going to gift me? Enemies? Enemies. Damn it. I gambled. I always thought that what they give gave you was random, but it seems like what they give you, the 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 creator of the room actually um, decides. So it, I shouldn't, basically I shouldn't be letting them open in a combat room because it's very unlikely that they'll give me stuff. But at the same time, the developer could have hidden something nice in them. Hey, we got a bad trip there, lovely. Come on, companion cube, get in there. Get in there, cube. Do your thing. Do your thing. Actually, a pretty pretty strong companion, to be honest. Unfortunately, not really good there for us. Um, take that eternal heart. We keep it going. We're going to lose all of our shit here. Let's hope we get an angel deal. It's only like a 3% chance per consumable, so it's not a super high chance, but... I tried to maybe use that key before it disappeared. It did not work. One moment. I have a message. One second. Okay, we're good to go. Right, so library could be pretty useful depending on if we get a better book. I mean, even just for bookworm, it could be good. We don't have any wisps right now. Oh, no, we do have one. We do have one. We have a blue for uh, stunning shots. Goddamn, the deception of having these much, much, much larger tiers than our damage value is uh, it's a little difficult. Ooh, um... 
I mean, we obviously just pick this up and pop it. Um, spawn a seven seals familiar for the room when destroyed. This is better, I think, because it's... I don't know. Is it better? Maybe not. Because it's like... It's only going to give us soul hearts, and soul hearts are kind of useless to us. And it only gives us something when destroyed, so... But also, we could get the uh, Meat Boy achievement, so... It's difficult. Soul Heart? I want that. I'll take the Eternal Heart now, because I'm a gambler. Lemon Juice lowers our tier size, I think. I'm pretty sure. And I kind of want that, because it's, it's, dece it's deceiving me right now. I'm getting very confused, so I'd rather have them smaller. This room is, is giving me crazy anxiety. What the hell? It's so stressful. Bump, bump. Why are we getting random maggots on killing things? This was happening on the other run as well. Is this... Is this something to do with bookworm? Let me go and see, um... Workshop Better Transformations. Transformation Plus. Bookworm. When enemies die, they have a 10% chance to spawn a charmed small maggot that stays with you until he dies. Yeah, there you go. That's what it is. I was wondering where they were coming from last run. And I was like, Bookworm kind of makes sense. I don't really think it's necessary to buff Bookworm at all. I think Bookworm was absolutely fine. But, um, I guess. It's not exactly a big benefit, so I wouldn't really call it that much of a buff. You do not or oh, you big bad bitch. You've buffed him up and caused him to go psycho mode. I hate that. But getting Bookworm, I always I always forget that like as this character you start with a book, so getting Bookworm is particularly easy. Look how much health this Goober has, it's insane. Why does it buff them this much? It takes a night and a day to kill these bitches. Another bad trip, thanks. Melatonin. Bump, 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 ba dun 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 dun. Seems to be a higher than 10% chance as well. I'm getting quite a lot of these little goofy goobers. I really should pick up that penny. All consumables are very, very important to us right now. Unfortunately, we just really haven't been getting a lot of consumables, though. They've been a bit, uh, a bit lacking, which has really caused us issues with uh, with teeth. Teeth? I still don't know if it's pronounced teeth. Tithe? I have really no idea. Realistically, we just want a ton of money, so no, uh, no trinket. Thank you. Another eternal heart. I don't know where these are coming from, but I'm very happy about it. Oh, wait. Ah, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. If we get the balloon to max level, it auto-pops and gives us an eternal heart, I see. So, basically, if we don't get hit for, like, seven rooms or something, I don't know how many rooms it is. But if we don't get hit for so many rooms, that's actually pretty fucking good. That's actually really, really strong. Um, we've got pretty much a constant access to eternal hearts, which is this character is kind of crazy. Um, we thrive on red health, and we are doing very well on red health right now. Willow is a fantastic item. Really, really cool. Good to have it. Yeah, basically, Willow's just gonna get in there and uh, kill some goofy goobers for us. Shoot at stuff. More speed up, of course. I don't know if we're gonna make boss rush this run. It feels like we're going a bit slow for it. We'll see, though. We're just on that mum's heart grind at the minute, though. As many mum hearts kills as we can get. Luckily, Willow's dealing with that guy nice and easily. I don't know what you're doing. You're sliding around like crazy. Another... Th th this is just ludicrous with the amount of eternal hearts you can get out of this. As long as my, uh, as long as my companion cube keeps doing what it's doing, I think we're fine here. Unfortunately, it's not. Ooh, we did get a bomb explosion there, which I don't quite know what that was from, but I shall accept. 
This guy's such a fat boy. I think the explosion was maybe from my willows. They have the ability to do that, maybe. Cool. Um, actually pretty good because we get some bombs out of this. And we get a trinket that we can possibly gulp. Yeah. Um, oh, 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 this is tricky. Okay, so mustard seed. Heart container plus one for every floor. Um, for every floor on which the total number of collectibles you earn does not change, these stats up reapply. So, as long as we're okay with accepting that teeth doesn't trigger, I think this is the better option. What does this do? Players creep last twice as long, enemy last half as long. Gulp it. Didn't gulp it. I'll probably keep that though. And then the other thing is the axe, which periodically fires a piercing axe towards the closest enemy. The axe boomerangs back after a short launch. That's also pretty good. What do we get out of this? We get damage, speed. I think I'm going to take the, the mustard seed. It seems like it could be really good. Can we destroy these yet? We can. I'd rather not lose my uh, eternal heart here, but it was in the name of science. Lost it. It's fine. It's fine. We're going to get a heart container next floor anyway from Mustard Seed. Now, my curiosity is, I'm guessing I can pick stuff up and then spend it during that floor. I can pick up a key and make sure I spend it. I love that noise. Melatonin. Melatonin. Still no angel deal from this bad boy. Big sad, big sad. But yeah, basically we want a single key to go into our item room and nothing else. Goddamn little goobers. But yeah, I just uh, I just went out on a nice little walk. Um, I've been like get going like mad in on the. Where, where did I get three bombs from? When did I pick those up? Yeah, I've been going like mad in on the gym. Um, I do not want a one makes you larger. Thank you. Yeah, I've been going like crazy in on the gym. Um, and um, I've had my first break today, so I was like, I started to get out and do something. So I went for a nice little walk. I just went down to the shop, picked up some stuff for tea. But I went like to the to the shop that's quite far away. Experimental By the way, one, one thing I'm a little curious about actually is um I'm this this floor I didn't technically start on zero um I didn't technically start on zero consumable so I'm I'm thinking it won't work this floor I have to wait until next floor which is a little bit of a shame I have to wait a little bit to get things to reapply but it is what it is dude what is it with melatonin it's just more and more melatonin constantly it's crazy Ooh, there's the one key we need. Oh, goddamn troll bombs. We did get one of those, though. Power pill. I literally ate a ghost from you telling me I didn't get any health up. I literally ate a ghost. Come on now, game. Oh, shit. Um, will this kill me? <laughs> Replaces all hearts with, um, with soul hearts. I think that might kill me. <laughs> that might kill me. One second. Okay, the developer said I should be able to take it, so I'm going to try it. Yay, I took it. It's fine. 
So I should be able to ignore three hits of floor now. That's pretty awesome. Right. Leaving all that shit behind is a little upsetting, but we're doing it for the good of, uh, for the good of the mustard seed. Ow. Yeah, see, there's one free hit. Didn't lose any health. But it did trigger my balloon, though, which is nice. And another free hit. Tears up, shot speed down. Nice. Okay. Be wary of this. Enemies are tricky. Mela, turn in! Oh my god! There's the tears down. Lovely. It was bound to come at some point. God damn Mela turning. All these troll bombs as well. I mean, that worked out. Bloodshot Eye, really not the best for us, but there you go. I don't have any bombs, fuck. I was going to cheat this with a bomb, but I cannot. No cheaties for me. Maggots, don't follow me onto here. That's stupid. Why would you do that? Ah! I have to take the bomb. To be fair, though. Not at all what I meant to do. That was meant to be an air wash rune, but I didn't realise that, of course, the air wash runes can't spawn. So, that's kind of funny. Right, real quick, pop in here. Some black hearts, lovely. That's a health down. Hey. Shoppy, shoppy, shoppy. I've got a little idea for you. I'm way past boss rush, so let's take it easy. Give me that. Go up in my shop. See how much um, stuff there is in there. This could screw me if I if I do if I do this wrong, so let's be careful. Um Bomb you, why not? Right. Now just, I'm just gonna pick this up and bomb this because it's annoying me. Go back over here. Pick up this penny. Back over here. Pick up this penny. Pick up all of these. Back over here. See what we're able to buy and donate the rest. See, oh, we got bound to zero. Right. I wonder if the, the soul heart count counts for mustard seed. I hope not. That's not the boss, you fool. For some reason, I assumed the boss was down there. I don't know what's bloody wrong with me. I'm not sure what this holy wisp we got hovering around us is doing. I'm not sure what, what uh, item that's from. Oh, God, these troll bombs. Are very treacherous. I'm surprised I haven't been hit by one yet, but apparently I've been getting lucky. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I might as well try it. Yeah, we gulped it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. One, two, three, four, five. That is five gulped trinkets we have unlocked Golem, people. I just realized. Golem has been unlocked. Holy hell yes. Unlocked. Huzzah, huzzah. Um, is there anything else we've unlocked yet? I don't think we've got the spider items. We haven't entered an Iam error. Um, we haven't stole a devil deal. We haven't fully paid out an arcade. No, I don't think we I don't think any of the rest we've done, but we unlocked Golem, people. That is one, two, three. Four and five gulped trinkets. Hell yes. I didn't even think about it when I picked up Amalgamation. I didn't even think about it, but yes. Perfect. Oh, this guy is gonna is gonna hit me a few times. He's a bit of a bastard.
A very tricky boss. Ooh, that is something we've been needing. Right, let's see. Do we get the mustard seed stab? I don't think we will. No, we didn't. But this floor, as long as we exit on zero on everything, we will. God, fucking stop dropping so many troll bombs. This is ridiculous. Try to be careful about accidentally picking up money and stuff like that. Because there isn't a donation machine on this floor, and we can't get rid of it. Tears down? There's a huge tears down! How dare you! That is an absolutely astronomically large tears down. <coughs> very, very annoyed. That's another gulp. How many troll bombs? Okay. Hopefully we get a key this floor. We do have a hanged man. I'm going to save that for a situation in which we can't avoid picking up a penny or something. If it's like in the way of a path and I don't have any bombs, then I can use the hanged man to, to, to hopefully dodge around it. That's my safety. Another library. Thank you. Another eternal heart there. Lovely. Honestly, we should be getting eternal hearts like crazy with the... Uh, the blood of the abyss, because we're going to be not getting hit on health much at all. Hey, my tears are finally back down to a reasonable size now. Oh, thank you. That troll bomb was actually useful. Picked up a penny. No! It's, it was right in front of me. Fuck. I'm going to have to get rid of that somehow. Can't believe it made me pick up a penny. I'm so annoyed. Um... There's got to be a beggar or something somewhere. If I can't get rid of this penny, I'm going to freak the fuck out. I swear to God. I'm trying to think of options we have. We really don't have a lot. Beggars getting into the shop and hoping there's still a um, donation machine. Oh my God, we're not even going to get a key, are we? I just feel it. I feel like we're just not going to get a key here. Willow, do your thing for me. I can't believe it. Why are you going to make me pick up a penny like that? So rude. I'm going to keep this one. Where the hell is all the keys at, game? I only need one. I'd like two, but I only need one. I'm pretty sure we're out of luck. Pretty sure we're out of luck. That is super depressing. We got a single penny. Why, game? Why do you have to be this way? Mustard seed could have been so good for us. I need those tears up. Fuck. 
My health is so low. My health is so low. Damage is so low. My tears are so low. My DPS is so low. Eh. Let me in. Let me in. I'm trying to figure a way out of this now. Secret room could be there. Let's go try that out, shall we? I need a key for that and I don't have any keys. I'm unfathomably annoyed. How the hell do I get rid of this penny? I need keys for everything. Wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. I didn't realize that sack was there. We did it. We got rid of them all. <laughs> do not fucking touch anything else, otherwise I'll shit my pants. Oh god, careful of the troll bombs. I kind of forgot about those. Oh, nice stun. Very good stun indeed. Okay. Got an eternal heart as well. More HP there as well. Mustard seed, do your thing. Give us another heart. It didn't work! Mustard seed? Excuse me? If you're actually fucking telling me that those soul hearts count... If you're fucking telling me that those soul hearts count... I have been fully ripped off here. I... I tried so hard there. And you're telling me I still don't get my mustard seed prop. Why do you have to be so cruel? Ooh, also, what, what's, uh, what's new for the adult transformation? Um... Anything new for adult? No? Beelzebub, Bob. Yeah, there's nothing new for adult. Anything new for adult? <laughs> nothing new for adult transformation. That's surprising. Considering it's just a health up, I would have thought that would want be one of the ones that you'd get something new for. But hey ho, I guess. That was really stupid. Right, now I'm on zero soul hearts as well. I'm sticking at zero soul hearts here. Not that we've got enough flaws to make use of this, but... I'm so annoyed by that. Mustard seed, you said my bombs, keys, and money. You didn't say anything about my bloody goddamn soul hearts. They don't count as consumables. Suck you. Goddamn suck you. I deserve my stats. I've worked so tirelessly for them. You cannot deny to me what is rightfully mine. Tears down? Can you fuck off with all the health downs and tears downs and all this bullshit? I just want to have a run where I don't get shit on constantly. Oh, why'd I take that soul heart? <laughs> I'm so foolish. Another eternal heart. And mustard seed was unfortunately not the right choice because I thought it'd be super easy to proc. Apparently, that is not the case at all. We're at max HP now as well.
Or a golden heart out of somewhere there. I think that's out of the item I just got, isn't it? You might as well just counteract uh, snake oil with lemon juice constantly. I can't pick that up. Heck! That would have been useful. Ow. Yeah, I'm gonna get hit a lot in this room, I think. Room, yeah, we lost all of our thingies in that room. Every single one of them. All of our free hits. Thanks for that. Whoever designed that room, that was... Big fat dookie. More melatonin. Also, I've noticed that the, the pill, like, colour keeps changing. Like, melatonin wasn't this colour last time I got it. I'm almost certain. Nice. Get in there, maggot. Do your thing. Tears down again. Gotta love it. I can't believe we got the fa the five uh, gulps done so quickly. This trinket was like the one and only way. This trinket and the toy box item from the shop were like the one and only ways we could have done this. And we managed it. And it happened so soon after we set the goals. I'm so happy because Golem is just a, such a fun character too. And start unlocking some uh, Fiend Folio stuff and just playing Golem in general. It's going to be fun. Right, this is the last floor. Unfortunately, we don't have any bombs to bomb our way out of anywhere, so... More melatonin. It's just constant. Can't get away from the melatonin. Those enemies are so cool that they knock your tears away. It makes them a little tricky, but I kind of like that. Oh, we found the boss, but oh my god, what's going on in there? There's a lot of fire going on in there, I'll tell you what. HP up tears down again? Are you kidding me? Right before the boss? Oh, and you had to do that, didn't you? Another puberty pill there, apparently. I mean, we're going to get through this boss, I'm pretty sure, but... I'm a little, I'm a little upset about how it's coming about. This run could have been something so special. And the game basically stole it from us. Evil game. Unfortunately, this is a long fight as well. And mother fights going long is a really bad thing. Because her later attacks get really crazy. Our tears are still a bit... Oversized to where they should be right now as well. But there you go. Another mum's heart kill done. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was a very fun run. Let's see what we end up unlocking for that. Uh, Ipecac! Yes! Um, Wisp Baby. Apparently, there is still some baby unlocks. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.